In this video, we will synthesize phenacetine. To synthesize phenacetine, we are going to need acetoaminophen and ethyl bromide. To obtain acetoaminophen, we will isolate them from 1 gram commercial tablets. Ethyl bromide is produced by reacting potassium bromide to ethanol and sulfuric acid. Phenacetin has been used as a pain reliever and antipyretic since 1887. Currently, it is banned in many countries because of its relationship to renal and urinary cancer. Phenacetin has no anti-inflammatory properties and has been replaced by acetylsalicylic acid and paracetamol, which have anti-inflammatory properties and are less toxic. Phenacetine is used to falsify and multiply the volume of illegal drug production and has been found in cocaine and heroin. The obtained of phenacetine from acetaminophen will be accomplished the Williamson synthesis. This is a reaction between an phenoxide with or primary alkyl halide. The first step in the synthesis process is the extraction of acetaminophen from commercial tablets. Six 1 gram tablets of acetaminophen were crushed. The crushed powder is heated with 50 milliliters of acetone at reflux for 20 minutes. Let cool and filter for removal of insoluble materials. Filtration is evaporated to obtain crystallized acetaminophen. Do test the melting point product obtained. The theoretical melting point of acetaminophen is 169 degrees, in our assay it was 170 degrees. As a second step, we will get ethyl bromide. For the preparation of ethyl bromide, we will react hydrobromic acid with ethanol. The action of sulfuric acid with potassium bromine forms hydrogen bromide. It attacks the hydroxyl of alcohol to form water and alkyl bromide which is separated by distillation. In a 250 milliliters flask cooled with an ice bath, we place 45 milliliters of water. When it is very cold, Add 38 milliliters concentrated sulfuric acid cautiously. When the mixture is cooled between 10 and 15 degrees, add 40 milliliters of ethanol and 60 grams of potassium bromide. We install distillation equipment with rectification column. Ethyl bromide boils in 38 degrees. We heat the mix to a distillation temperature between 35 and 40 degrees. The collecting flask was immersed in an ice bath to prevent evaporation of ethyl bromide. When no more ethyl bromide distills, the obtained product is placed in a 100 ml separating funnel. Wash twice using 30 ml of cool water. Wash with 30 ml of saturated sodium hydrogenorbonate solution. Decanter and dry with anhydrous magnesium sulfate. With all the prepared reagents, we're going to synthesis phenacetine. In a 100 milliliters flask with reflux condenser we put 1 gram of sodium hydroxide, 20 milliliters ethanol, 
We put a addition funnel on it. Warm with reflux until the sodium hydroxide dissolves. Once the dissolution is complete, add 3 grams of acetaminophen and heat for 15 minutes under reflux. At this time, phenoxide is formed by the action of sodium hydroxide on the hydroxyl group of acetaminophen. Ethyl bromide was filtered with cotton and pipette. Four milliliters of ethyl bromide was put into the funnel. After 15 minutes of reflux, without permitting it to cool down, ethyl bromide is dropped with vigorous agitation. Heat 15 minutes in a reflux. Insoluble sodium bromide formation can be observed. Without cooling, the solution is filtered by folded paper in an Erlenmeyer flask containing 80 milliliters of water and ice. One observes the formation of a white phenacetin precipitate. The solid is collected by suction and dried to 60 degrees. Determination of the melting point. The theoretical melting point of phenacetine is 136 degrees and that obtained was 135 degrees. The product is pure and requires no purification. In this operation, 2.4 grams of white powder was obtained with a yield of 67%.